The more I explore what it means to cultivate authenticity, the more I'm finding that there are some pretty big things that can get in the way of stepping into the fullest expressions of ourselves. Enter stage left, shame. Now I'm with you, this is not my favorite thing to talk about either, but I'm beginning to realize, however, that this is just the trick that shame likes to play. Now I know I'm personifying shame a bit, but let's just go with it. Shame, as defined by Brene Brown, is an intensely painful feeling of believing that we are flawed and therefore unworthy of love and belonging. Now, shame is subversive. It hides in the recesses of our minds and then it inserts itself, often when we least expect it. It is then that we rush to hide, hide who we are, hide what we are feeling, hide the fear of being found out, whatever that means to us. The thing that shame hates the most is exposure. The more we normalize and acknowledge its presence, say its name out loud, explore its triggers in our life, the less power it has. Now this can be a challenging task when our default is to want to show up in our Sunday best and keep hidden all the things we would rather other folks not see. It is in this way that shame can become a barrier to living our most authentic life. The journey is to begin to uncover the areas in which shame hides and hold them up to the gentle light of truth. The truth that I'm enough, you are enough, we are enough, period, end of sentence. We are worthy of connection, love, and belonging just by the mere fact that we exist. And when we can begin to let that sink into our cells, shame begins to loosen its stronghold and our authentic self is given what it deserves, a front row seat. While you're here, click like, subscribe, or leave a comment. What are your thoughts on shame and how it impacts our ability to show up authentically?